Hi guys, today is the 1st of August, it is 4 minutes past 2 in the morning over here in the UK. I'm going to try and make this video quickly, it's my 4th time trying to make it, I'll just kind of get mixed up in my words as I'm trying to explain what's on my mind. So I'm just going to simplify it as much as I can. Uh, two years ago I made this video, it was focusing on the image of pigs in certain uh, media. So in this particular screenshot of the iPad Go 2 video, you can see that there's a pig in the far left pink firework and obviously again putting in the pink firework is just you know connecting it more so with the pig you find pink pigs less purple not green or orange so they put the pig face in the firework in sort of like a mosaic sort of way that's made up of dots it was pointed out to me by a youtuber it took me some time to see it myself staring at that firework explosion until i could see it and when I did, I drew around it and I posted the video. Um, now, when we made the video, or when I made the video, um, we YouTubers um, looking at the iPad Go 2 video assumed that the pig reference was connecting us with the year of the pig um, on the Chinese calendar. Um, and obviously that came and went and um, the events we interpreted would happen didn't happen. Um, that didn't stop us we continued moving on but the image of the pig and the reference of the pig kind of just got put to the side um, but now I'm looking at it again because um, a lot of you who watch my videos have said that the fireworks remind you of the images they show of viruses under the microscope um, and in terms of the swine flu virus it looks very similar to the COVID-19 virus it has protein spikes which allow it to attach to cells um, currently, it doesn't transmit between pigs and humans, but I think that's something we're going to have to watch out for. Just in the last couple of days, um, the news reports about African swine fever, uh, not swine flu, swine fever, sorry, um, are increasing. So two weeks ago, one day ago, saw one just there, three hours ago, um, swine fever spreading across the world um, in the UK. We just had a countrywide preparation test um, for something like an outbreak of African swine fever and that occurred on July 22nd to July 23rd. So it's a concern that this COVID-19 may just be the test um, to acclimatize and to get people used to the procedures of masking, social distancing, um, you know and getting vaccinated um, obviously if a more deadly virus comes out then people who have already got the vaccine are more likely to just go ahead and get that vaccine um, without more question than they had for the COVID-19 um, vaccine which is a bit of a concern because it just means that what we're going through now is nothing compared to what could potentially be coming down the line um, and I just wanted to make this quick video just to pre-warn people that this could be a possibility a lot of people are focused on the COVID-19 virus right now obviously you know with all the things that are going on um, but flying under the radar is all these reports of the African swine fever and as I said currently it doesn't transmit between pigs and humans but it just takes a bit of editing, genome editing um, in a laboratory to change the behavior of the virus, um, which could then make it more transmissible between pigs and humans. Um, that's pretty much what I wanted to say um, in this video, just to be watchful on this uh, African swine fever or swine flu um, I don't know which it will be obviously the swine fever is in the news now um, and a lot of countries are preparing for it um, in terms of affecting livestock um, but I have a deeper concern that it could begin to infect or affect human beings um, and in this way the potential for death is much greater it seems to be 
that the pig in the far left image over here and the representation of death are linked even in the Game of Thrones series um, which I also found the pig in I can't draw on my screen because I'm using my mobile phone um, let me just let the ash play for and a second the uh, army of the dead kind of surrounds that in a conical shape which leads into this part here which is where the mouth is and uh, you have the nose here and the eyes just up here hopefully you can see that okay so I'll leave it on there because even though it's a shoddy drawing um, that's what I saw in the Game of Thrones what you're actually seeing all these little uh, black images here looking like trees on a landscape if you've watched the Game of Thrones series you'll know that that is the army of the dead um, and the lines where the mouth is drawn um, and the eyes are drawn and the nose is drawn um, those lines are created by dragon fire uh, melting the ice so it seems to me that it was done purposefully to put an image of a pig um, in the middle of the army of the dead and again that just seems to be the same reference we get in the iPad Go 2 video um, I'm not sure if you can see the pig right now without me having the lines drawn on it I can see it obviously because I've already seen it so once you've seen it you can't really unsee it um, but it is there for those of you who can't see it I apologize I just I can't do anything more apart from you know show you the image without the lines and then show you the image with the lines and hope that your eyes pick up what I and others have seen um, the image of the pig was seen by a youtuber I can't remember the name I do apologize but I'm very grateful um, that they took the time to tell me about it obviously they couldn't show me so they just said look in the left firework there's an image of a pig there um, and after staring at, after staring at it for some time I was then able to see it um, at the time we thought this was all connected to the year of the pig but a lot of youtubers who watch my videos have said that the fireworks resemble the image of the virus under the microscope uh, which is why I now believe that the image of the pig in association with death and the potential for the fireworks representing a virus under the microscope is all connected with some sort of swine outbreak whether that's swine flu associated with Asia or swine fever associated with Africa I can't tell as I said right now it's African swine fever in the news and that is the one that I'm keeping an eye on um, obviously I hope nothing more comes in terms of viruses outbreaks on a major scale pandemics epidemics those kind of things um, I don't know how much we can trust our governments and officials to tell us the truth um, in my opinion not very much to not at all um, but at the same time I don't want to put my opinion out there to influence other people's opinions um, about how they feel regarding their governments and you know officials and things that they do um, because it's difficult you know you want to tell people to be careful and to watch for these things but at the same time if people become so distrustful in their governments and stuff like that it can it can lead to uh, you know break down a society and uh, you know economic failures and all sorts of things that have major effects on other aspects of people's lives um, and you don't want to do something like that um, un, oh, what's the word I'm looking for I can't think of the word but you don't want to do something like that carelessly let's go with that word um, you want to be very careful when you're talking about these things because you can influence people in the wrong way and that's not something that I intend to do or want to do um, so with all that said you guys keep your eyes open on this African swine fever um, if not the swine fever keep an eye out for any news about African uh, sorry uh, swine flu um, I don't have an interpretation for a, a date for when this potential outbreak could really start moving forward um, it's not like the SARS interpretation that I did um, in June of 2019 warning about SARS in December 2019 that was taken from the tap dancing 
and I don't know why I chose December 2019 I can't even remember why um, but there you go it wasn't SARS it was COVID-19 um, a cousin of the SARS virus so I do take that as a correct interpretation um, unfortunately correct interpretation um, and I really don't want this interpretation to be correct either but as I've said warnings need to be put out there if um, if I feel that you know that should be done there's many days that go by where there's things that pop up and like should I make a video about that and I just end up not doing it and I feel like the videos that I do make nowadays are the videos that are more important um, and could potentially be correct at some point in the future again I hope that's not true I love to be wrong on these things because being right would mean death for millions of people um, with all of that said you guys have a good morning have a good evening and may the Heavenly Father bless you